Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm Stephanie West. I'm a licensed counselor here in the state of Michigan and owner and operator of In Progress Counseling. Today we're going to use one word to talk about behavioral modification and change, and the word is friction. When I have a behavior that I'm doing that I'd like to stop or to do less of, I need to create friction between myself and the behavior. When there is something that I want to add in that would be beneficial, I want to eliminate as much friction as possible. So what that means is, for example, let's just use a very simplistic analogy of I want to stop something. And I'm going to say we're at uh, Cantina here in Grand Rapids and there's this big basket of tortilla chips in front of me. Now they're right there and there's zero friction. It's like, you know, grab mouth, grab mouth, grab mouth. It, 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 it just, it, it happens, right? And you know that joke about like, would you ever eat half a taco shell? No, but here we are eating tortilla chips and it's like eating taco shell after taco shell after taco shell. I digress. But let's say I want to create friction. I want to eat fewer chips. So you could just say, well, don't order them. Maybe that is going to uh, reduce the capability of me eating them. But let's do a visual exercise where I move them one table away. And now every time I want a chip or two chips, I have to stand up, go to the next table and grab, grab the chips and come back and eat them. I've created friction with that process. It's less likely I'm going to consume as many chips as if the chips were right in front of me. Now let's add in another layer. Now I move them three tables away and I have to get up and I have to go around the corner and I have to grab one to two chips every time I want one. I've now created more friction, which means it's less likely that I'm going to go consume them, okay? So let's say I'm taking out the tortilla chips and I want to add in something. So if I am bringing fresh produce into my life, again, we're, we're going through the food analogy, not because that's what behavioral change is centered around, but it just translates really well for kind of simplistic um, analogy here. We could talk about, about this in a whole host of other ways, which we'll do in a moment. But let's say I want to eat more produce and the fact that they're in my fridge does nothing for me. The fact that I've rinsed them, cut them up, put them in pre-served containers, and now I can just grab it in the morning, there is almost zero friction between me and the fruit. But if every morning I have to get up, I have to cut it up, I have to find a container, I have to take it with me, I'm probably not going to invest heavily in the eating of the more produce. Or I grab produce that is readily accessible. So like a banana is already on the go fast food, basically, I take it and I can go. That's going to reduce the friction between me and the thing I want to be true about me. It's actually one of the places we start if I have a client who is deciding that they want to engage in more physical activity and they're like, I, I'll never get to the gym. It's like, okay, we have to reduce as many friction points as possible. So number one, what is a place we can already link it into in your day? Can you go there on your way to work or can you go there on your way home? We're linking it in. That's really helpful. It reduces friction. For some, if they want to do it first thing in the morning, our starting point is, hey, what if you have your clothes set out beforehand? or your gym bag is packed, or you wear your athletic clothes to bed. If that reduces friction and it becomes more likely you're going to execute the behavior that you want, that is a good temporary intervention. There was one point where I would make sure that my gym bag was packed with my clothing that was ready for my next work day, and then that would be locked in my car, and my car is outdoor in Michigan winter. So literally to not go to the gym, and I had to go outside, I had to grab the clothes, I had to bring them back inside, and at that point it's like, whatever, just go to the gym, do your thing, shower there, and move it along, right? So friction is about when I want to decrease or desist a behavior, I'm going to create as much friction as possible, like removing the app from my phone or like putting the app two or three pages into my phone so it at least causes a point of um, pause before I can retrieve it. We just wanna take the, the behaviors we don't want off from autopilot and that means increasing friction. Then the behaviors we do want to bring in and invite in, we, do, we reduce as much friction as possible. So when you are looking at what are some changes I want to make, think of the word friction. What do I want to pull in, which means reduce barriers? What do I want what do I want to eliminate, which means create more barriers? And that's typically going to help us navigate change in thoughtful, intentional, and really helpful ways.